Alrighty. Now, let me try that again. The video game. The video game I am playing still does not pick up my controller. What? Huh? Is it in the active window? Yes. Yes, it is. It doesn't, it doesn't pick up my controller. Why does it not pick up my controller? How is that possible? How is that possible? because of the driver update, right? That, that doesn't even make any sense. Oh, now it does. All right, we got it. So I guess we load the bonus and it'll take us to chapter 78. Three bonus chapters, chat. After the final bit of the story. What are they exactly? I don't know, but there's more to play. Yeah, so we have a cost again. All the characters are still allowed. Um, and we need to we need to sort some things. Uh, we lost a lot of. This is weird. Like we actually don't have any space. We don't have any space. Why do we not have space? Well, actually, I think it's just Rainbow and Marissa. Maybe it's because they're usually forced to come, but this time... Heroes and Mediators. It's kind of weird. Um, so I guess we'll just do a swap for somebody. But who? Who, 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 who? Who, 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 who? Uh, huh. That's so weird that I, I just don't, like, I don't have room for everybody. But who gets the axe for Marissa? I guess I can just axe Sanai. And replace her with Marissa. Oh, I can't because Marissa costs more than Sanai. Why does why does she cost more than Sanai? I don't know. Oh man. There, that works. There, there we go. That works. Okay, we did it. We're we're good. Kane got something new. Uh, I, it's probably courage. Don't care about points distribution. All right, Remy got something new. Eternal Young Scarlet Moon. Free Scarlet Devil Mansion unit deployed. Unit receives boost to accuracy, evasion rates, damage, and defense. Ah, uh, for the motherfuckers who love to play EOSD. Peerless Wing God. It changes illusionary dominance sky terrain rating to double S and increases power by 400. It's pretty cool if you're using Aya. It's point, form. All right, what form am I for Snai? I'm normal form right now. Earth gains more movement. More evasion. I'll just keep it regular. Who cares? <clears throat> Alright. A lot of units were allowed to play on the last mission, so this, this doesn't really matter. Like, at all. But sure. Sure. 
sure, whatever. Uh, give everybody who has a little bit a lot. And for no other reason than because you can. Let you get a new skill, Cold Wave level 3. Alright. Alright boys, let's play a bonus chapter. Here we go! Oh, bonus dialogue. Is it translated? Did I not give her Genji? Oh, I should probably do that. Hold on. Wait, that's gonna load me into the previous... Yeah. There we go. I don't remember who has Genji, but I think I can just pull directly off of him anyway. Reimu. Take Genji. Oh, Shanky had her. Yeah, because he has movement plus two. Because sh sh I gave him because Shanky... I, I want movement for, uh, for Shanky because she's the mobile... She's the mobile fortress. I'll probably swap after. Does somebody have uh, a feather they're not using? I think Hina has them both. Oh, the ship has one. Oh, Marasa has that. Okay, we'll just take that from her. Hina, Hina. Hina, Hina, Hina. No, nobody wants a Tengu mask. Alright, that'll work. There we go. There we go. Ah. Uh, hey, what's going on? The energy is overflowing. It's following the nearby rock. So this is, uh, this chapter is explaining how they got out of that, I guess. Don't tell me space is collapsing. Before long, I'll crumble away along with my dream. Please return against Sokyo. What do you mean you'll crumble away? Shouldn't you be able to stop it? I no longer have the power, nor any reason to. I'll share my fate with my dream. Share your fate? No way! Now that I've lost, it's only natural for the one who doesn't fit in against Sokyo to disappear. With my dream broken, I don't wish to dishonor myself any further. I'm sure you think so, but... The collapse is continuing, we can't stay here for long. There's no need to hesitate, this is the end I wanted. That's right, I wanted to meet my end there. Without my dream, I had nothing to support me. I thought I only wanted to live if I had my dream. But thanks to Raymo and her friends, both Miko and I were saved. We were told, threatened almost, to learn of Gensokyo and find a new dream. Find a future. It's been months since then. I still don't have the slightest clue what my new dream might be. All I do now is watch over the scenery of Gensokyo, touching everyone's hearts. This was the life left to me. Special chapter, Dream again. So three bonus chapters. About the OC character. Maybe. Come on, hurry up! Is there really a good hiding place in a place like this? Wait, is it's that boat that shoots Don Maku? Don't worry, it doesn't move anymore. Now we can find a window. We can. Hey, get back here! They found us! Run! Yeesh, the moment we take our eyes off them. And they even said it doesn't move anymore. They're underestimating our mothership. Right, Palaquin ship? Come on, it was a joke. I mean, the right. It sure ain't shooting Don Maku anytime soon. Hey, stop chatting and get back to work. These weeds won't pull themselves. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe it's already so overgrown. Feels like just yesterday that we were taking it all over the place. It's already been weeks since we turned it back into a temple. The days when we were flying around every day were a special exception. And we're still a long way from those pleasure cruises we were talking about. First, we need to get Myodon Temple on track as an actual functioning temple. This sucks. Oh, here you all are. At least it looks like you're working enough to justify all that grumbling. Good work, everyone. Oh, all three of you are here. Did you need something? We received this from Aya just now. I'd like you all to see it. Wow, a photo album? Seems like she put together all sorts of photographs they were taken in Mugen Sekai. Wow, that sure brings back memories. Look, the peeps from the moon and the underworld are there too. Looking back at it now, things sure were lively back then. 
Can hardly believe we took such a huge crowd with us to investigate incidents. But ever since that last banquet, we've all gone our separate ways. The Watatsuki's back to the moon, Shinki back to Makai, Lady Shiki back to hell. Even Tenshi said she was going to try working harder in heaven, so she hasn't been coming down to play either. In the end, that's just how it goes. Once things are back to normal, all that matters is what's right in front of you. But I'm sure the personal growth we all experienced in our journeys will continue to aid us on our separate paths. I know we'll see them again someday, but it's still a little lonely. It really feels almost like waking up from a dream. True. Okay, that's enough of the pity party. Let's get these weeds taken care of and take a break. Besides, isn't the Shine crew still just drinking every day like usual? Hee <laughs> hee, I suppose so. They're as lively as ever. I'm sure that even today they're drinking while making the flowers bloom with Don Maku and idle chatter. Meanwhile, at Reimu House. So we came into sight of the moon, and what do you know? We bumped right into Reimu. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. Plus, you had Kaneko and even Mima with you. And then we all ended up in a big spell card battle. Oh, yeah, battle of the century. And then what? And then what? Who won? Who do you expect? Me! What are you talking about? Obviously, I won. Teehee, they're both liars. I could peek into their memories, but perhaps that would be tactless. Miko was there too, wasn't she? Do you remember that? Miko? Huh? I'm sorry, just got too caught up in listening. You were everyone's pet at the time, so shouldn't Yachty notice one? Yeah, but hearing it told like this is all so new to me. Perhaps being in a different position now makes you see it differently. Are you sure you aren't bored, Makuda? Me? Yeah, you. You and Miko hardly ever come to these things, and now you aren't saying a word. If you just hang in the back like that, we'll run out of snacks before you get any. Thank you for your concern, but please don't mind me. It's pleasant enough just listening to you all like this. Hmm, <laughs> that's awfully meek of you. You were so forceful during the incident, but I suppose you were originally a rather quiet person. Yep, whenever I'm grooming the sheep, she's always watching over me. She just falls asleep right there after like half a day, though. That's kind of amazing, in more ways than one. I'm surprised neither of you have gotten tired of that yet. Well, as long as you're enjoying yourselves, you're only here every once in a while, so I think it's fine to take it easy. Thank you. I like to think of this as another opportunity to learn more about Gensokyo. So stiff. Just come hang out at the shrine whenever. But hearing that is exactly what makes my heroic tales worth telling. Anything you girls want to hear in particular? Come on, back down to Earth, Marissa. I want to hear about the moon! The moon? Sounds good to me. It comes up pretty often, but we still haven't... Don't really know what happened up there. If you're talking about the lunar voyage, then I'd love to hear about it myself. I must admit my curiosity has been piqued as well. Curiosity, is it? All right, you don't really like the moon, do you, Makura? No, I don't feel that way anymore. Oh, I still do. It's just seeing everyone's eyes glittering in anticipation like that made me. It's cause we've never been there, duh. Well, obviously I didn't go myself. There are a number of others who would stay, also stay behind because of their position or for the harvest. I left Shiro behind too, so are you curious too? Huh? What, uh, maybe a little. I mean, who could resist the allure of a voyage through space? I even read in a gossip magazine that the moon is a drag is the Dragon Palace. I wish I could have shown Mom the beauty of that sea of stars. Me too. I want to go again someday. Then why not just go? Aren't you friends with the Lunarians now? Easier said than done. In reality, it's nothing more than a pipe dream. But that's why we want to at least hear about it so we can imagine. Anyway, might as well start from the beginning. Romilly and Flan just suddenly said they wanted to go to the moon. A lunar voyage. A dream that will never come true. I didn't even realize it. In that case... Uh... Oh. I thought I hit the wrong button. Mmm, ugh. Where am I? I remember passing out on the floor as soon as I got home. That voice! Is that you, Marissa? Remo, you're here too? Just kind of spacing out, though. Uh, do you remember what happened? I think I know what's going on here. I know this noise, and the shaking, too. We're back in space, yeah. Makura is using her ability to give everybody the dream of space. So that's what we're doing here. Yeah, the palanquin ship. Yawn. I can't eat another bite. Mmm, the smell of the sea. 
Even Itori's here. What the heck's going on? Looks weird outside too. It's almost like the time we went to the moon. Hey, wake up, guys. Huh? It's still not time for breakfast yet, is it? Wait, what? Why are we on the palaquin ship? And the consoles and guns are here too. Didn't we dismantle these? Look, you can see the sea of stars outside the window. Looks like we're wrapped up in something weird. It looks just like when we took a trip to the moon. Don't tell me it's some kind of time slip. Hmm? Oh my god, look, you may go, look, oh my god! Lady Shinky, please try to ascertain your circumstances before you scream like a child at a birthday party. Looks like some kind of magic. We should take a look around the ship first. What? You're all here too? What's going on? You girls are never in the trip to the moon. Oh my, so everyone's here. Wait, moon? So that really is the sea of stars? Oh my god, what do I do, Yumeko? This is your mother's space debut! <laughs> this is an abnormal situation. Please shut up for a moment. I don't get it. Not even time travel would explain this. Don't tell me this is... Good night, everyone. Makura, what the heck's going on here? Now we're getting a transmission from you? This is all your fault, isn't it? Well, hold your horses, there's a good reason for this. Really now? Then could we skip the greetings and hear those reasons? After listening to your stories at the shrine, we became interested in the moon world as well. So I recreated it in a dream through the memories of those involved and invited everyone into it. By experiencing it vicariously through you, we hope to learn more about the moon too. Figures, of course it was your fault. Well, at least there's nothing sinister behind it. Actually, you say you recreated it, but aren't these there all these people, other people here now? Ah, oh, well, we thought it'd be better if as many people as possible could see it. I do think that might create a slightly different outcome, though. Well, that's fine, too, in its own way. Yep. What a sloppy setup. Hey, look on the bright side. I get to see Mima again. Okay, I understand what's going on now. So if this is a dream world, then when we wake up in reality, we'll be back where we came from. Yeah, exactly. When you wake up, this'll all just be a dream, so do whatever you like. The night is still young, though. I doubt you'll wake up anytime soon. We'll let you know when dawn is approaching, so until then, please enjoy yourselves. Understood, then we'll stay in touch through this communicator. Alright, time for a dream world adventure. I wonder if anyone else besides Shinki's group is here, too. Jeez, can't I get a break, even in my dreams? She says with a big smile on her face. And so I have the following messages to convey. Next, we'd like the Watatsuki sisters to continue their mission. Are you listening, Lady Orihime? Yes, I'm listening. You're talking about going to hunt down the rabbit who fled. I thought I told them that we'd be implementing measures to prevent it from happening again. <clears throat> well, will the higher ups be satisfied with that, though? The Brass is worried that she might be conspiring with that Yakokoro and plotting a rebellion against the moon. We should be catching her and punishing her. A silence within a silence is no silence at all. Huh? Behaving yourselves during peacetime isn't true calmness. Only when you keep that calm in times of crisis does it truly count. W well, maybe so, but... Therefore, it's important to act prudently and not give in to impatience. Tell that to the higher-ups. Uh, understood! Thank you, Toyohime. I could never talk my way out of situations like you can. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I was sure you would lose when it comes to words, though. But anyway, it seems they're trying to connect everything to Lady Yakukoro, as always. Yes, although I believe it's mostly like, uh, most likely just a vocal minority. We don't need to follow their orders. Right now, we are only, only we have the authority to deploy the emissaries. As long as we hold on to our determination, there's nothing they can do about it. You're right. Lady Yakukoro must still be in good health somewhere on Earth. One day, once she's cleared of her crime, she'll come back to the moon and give us backing, right? Indeed. That's why, until then... Lady Watatsuki, sorry to bother you again. What is it now? I thought we were done talking. We were, but just now I got a report from our comrades monitoring the barrier. It seems some flying object is approaching and interfering with the barrier. What? So this is, uh, this happened... This happened in the, the last game. Like, that actual, like, this is actually a thing that happened. But now we're, we're doing the events with, we're basically New Game Plusing the, the Lunar Saga. That's, that's what it is. This is New Game Plus in the, in the Silent Center and Blue Arc. Where it's all going the way it did, but now everybody is on the ship. So things are gonna go differently. 
We're 10,000 units from the moon's surface. No obstacles in our course. Sounds good. Keep this up and we'll pull this off without a hitch. Whoa, we're already close to the moon? It took weeks in reality, but in the dream it happened so quickly. Isn't that just because Marasa is more skilled and knows what she's doing this time around? How nice of Reimu to say that. There's that too, but don't forget that Aku and, and Renosuke are veterans at this too now. They're a big help. It really is like a dream to be doing this all with you again. Actually, I was always jealous of you girls. I understand that my body wouldn't be able to handle the trip, but... But the moon is seen from the Sea of Stars is just so beautiful. Aku. It's a little too soon to be crying tears of joy. Once we land, you'll even see the ocean. Did you hear that, Minamitsu? An ocean! Alright! Whoa, well, get down, dude. I can't see! Whoa, nice view. I know this is a dream, but still, I'm speechless. I hear they're famous for their peaches, so why don't we have an eating contest? What a unique opportunity. I'll have to perform an inspection. So you all came to the bridge too, huh? I'd never get tired of seeing that moment when we land. Let's go out together, sis. Don't pull me so hard, Koishi. You're all treating this like a party. This ain't the time for a touching reunion, you know. Well, what do you expect, given the circumstances? Yes, we can talk after we land. For now, let's just enjoy the sight of the moon spreading out below us. The moon below us, huh? Are the great sinners of the moon feeling a little uneasy about this? True, if it weren't a dream, then setting the foot on the moon again would be unthinkable. Now, here's the weird part about this. So, in the original game... In the original game, you have, uh... You have Rabbit. And Rabbit has a letter from Eden. And she loses the letter, which causes the huge misunderstanding, which results in the big, uh, the big, like, four-chapter fight. But in this case, Rabbit's not here, but Eden is right there. <laughs> Eden is right there. So, how could this possibly turn into a fight when Eden is there? But for tonight, this is but a game. Let's leave our sins behind in reality. While I haven't changed my mind about leaving, I feel strangely nostalgic about coming back like this. Indeed. Well, it's great that you're fine with it, Master, but what do we do about those two? Seriously, this is such a problem! Hey there, everyone. Quite a view, isn't it? Oh, they're here too. Um, is it alright for them to be here? Isn't it going to be get weird when we get to the moon and you show up in front of yourselves? Don't ask me. It's not our fault we were caught up in this. Well, whatever happens, happens. Anyway, I'm just glad we could all meet up again. Yeah, even in the same situation as last time, I feel so relaxed. Good grief, how carefree of you all. We're heading to the moon, you know. A little wariness seems appropriate. There is no need to worry. There was a chance that the dream world would connect to the real moon, so I eliminated that possibility in advance. This is outside the Cayenne Corridor. I'm sure you won't be discovered by the Guardian. I see. You seem to know what you're doing, then. Now that the spectators are here, too, it's about time for us to make our landing. Finally, allow me to take a photographic record of this historic occasion. I'll leave the helm to you, Marasa. Right, Hijiri, watch over me, please. Huh? What's wrong, Minamitsu? Uh, when we really went to the moon, what happened after this part again? Now that you mention it, I don't remember how we landed. Hmm? What's the awful shaking? The ship's altitude is falling! Something's wrong, the controls aren't responding. What do you mean they aren't responding? Wasn't it all going according to plan? Oh, I remember now. We crashed after entering the moon's barrier. Yeah, I remember that. We made such a big splash on the way down. <laughs> you brought us along on such a dangerous trip? But it's a dream, right? Can we change things a little? Bakudo, you're controlling this, so do something. Unfortunately, it's difficult to turn a nightmare into a pleasant dream on such short notice. Hmm, what to do, what to do? I brought you tea, Lady Makura. Well, someone's laid back. This is an emergency. Forget it, everyone grab something. We're about to hit the water. Clench your jaws, everyone. She is angry. Huh? Did we stop falling? Look outside. Yeah! Huh? But that's... In the, is this a dream? Well, obviously it is, but... It's Hiso Tensoku! But how? Wasn't he caught up in the collapse after the final battle? Don't tell me Makura did this too! I did, although I'd intended to manifest him after you'd reached the moon. So was he recreated from our memories like the rest of this dream? Uh-uh. 
He lost his body, but his Sotensaku's mind was scattered all over Mugen Sakai. So I gathered up all the pieces and granted him a new body. So this is the genuine Hisotensuku himself. Yeah, we get to see each other again. Still to think you'd do something like that when you hate science so much. Was this just a whim or a change of heart? There's no particular reason. Please just think of it as atoning for once using him. We can talk later. We still need to land on the moon. That's your cue, Hisotensuku. Take us to the moon. To the moon! One. So now we're on we're on the beach. We're on the moon beach, and we're all okay. It's the sea! The sea, huh? Hey everyone! Stop being shy at a place like that. And let's go plant some sweet potatoes. Alright, let's invade the moon with fresh produce! Planting crops on the real moon would be strictly forbidden, though. It's a dream. Let them have their fun. Yeah, exactly. Just for today, please. Good heavens, look how quickly they've adapted to these strange circumstances. But the ship's alright, so it's alright to play, right? I wanted to play on the beach with you, Miss Ron. Chen! So it looks like a beach party, then. Ta-da! Swimsuits! Oh my, how bold. No way, you think I can wear something like that? Hmm? Where's the CG? I don't know, I bet you could fill it out in certain places. Why not just throw it on? Well, you'd wear anything, Yugi. Then would you care to wear it, Biakridin? My body serves Buddha. I could never embarrass myself with such a shameless... I'll pass too. Sure, the moon is such a rare sight to everyone. Well, you gotta have at least this much fun with it, or it's a waste coming here. Wow, wow, there's so much water! Alice, Yuka, this is all salty! Tee hee hee, how adorable, seeing you enjoy your first trip to the ocean so much. It's dangerous here, Medi, so don't go too far, alright? Those of us who can't handle the salt water will be with Hisotensoku. He's gonna carry us over there on his shoulders! Hmm, amateurs. Let's show them how a master plays. Are we the masters just because it's our second time here? One must be fabulous and gorgeous while enjoying oneself at a lunar resort. Or so I'm told. Hmm, is that how it is? Ain't nothing wrong with kicking back, western style. Want another cocktail, Lady Shiki? It seems safe enough outside. Should we go out too? Sure, but I'd like to confirm one thing first. Last time everyone landed here, what happened next? Hmm, why? I mean, you lost control of the ship in reality too, right? So doesn't that mean whatever happened after that will happen here too? Oh! Now that you mention it, in that case, next we were found by the Defense Corps. Wait, does, doesn't that mean... D -d -d they're here! They really were intruders! Is that a wooden ship? Did they fly out here? What? It's the Defense Corps rabbits just like last time! So even if there are some differences, the events that happen in reality will also happen in the dream. Meaning we're gonna end up with a Danmaku battle with them. Get back to the ship and prepare for a fight, everyone. Just call Aiden. Just, just, call, just call Aiden. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Aiden can just show herself. Actually, there'll be all different kinds of problems if Aiden showed herself. <laughs> Let's be real. Aiden showing herself to the Moon Rabbits would be a massive fucking problem. There's not very many, but I know what happens. I, I, I see. I remember what happens. Yeah, Rabbit gets kidnapped. You gotta go free her. I think Yorihime shows up, fucks everything up. All right, let's go. Remember us to go in the water? Okay. Jeez, we were just about to go swimming too. We all just changed too, what the heck? Looks like it's a defense corpse rabbit showed up for now. We should gather up for safety. Speaking of which, it took a while for Shinki and Hisotensuku to get back. Sorry about that, I nearly drowned. Why, why do you even get in the water if you can't swim, mom? Set her adrift and she floats on her own. You too, Hisotensoku, you almost sank! I guess writing him as unfit for ocean combat was a bad idea then. We gotta make him a propeller for underwater movement then. Hmm, even in this situation, there isn't much tension, is there? I swear that the game just randomly burst out a bunch of facial expressions that the characters have never used before. Like, actually. 
I don't think I've ever seen Kane make that face before. Well, nothing's gonna happen if we don't do something. How about Yorihime and Toyohime go out and talk to them? Us? In reality, a battle broke out. Maybe we could convince- avoid that if you two managed to convince them. I understand. To be frank, though, it doesn't sit quite right with me. You there, rabbits. Sheath your weapons. Bwah! <laughs> Lady Yorihime! We'll handle these people on our own. You may return to your patrols. And Lady Toyohime, too! What's going on here? But something's not right about this. Didn't we come here on Lady Yorihime's orders? And wasn't Lady Toyohime supposed to be in the litter capital doing something? Which means that these ones are fakes! Yeah, Lady Toyohime would never wear a swimsuit! Not even Lady Toyohime would wear something as easygoing as that! Oh. My, oh my, oh my. What an unfortunate misunderstanding. Pretty loyal minions you got there. This is thanks to all that training you give them, right? I never imagined we'd have to deal with a situation like this. Bring it on, fakes! We only need to hold out until reinforcements show up. We'll protect the peace of the moon. Um, I'm gonna assume that says win in five turns. I'm gonna assume that says win in five turns. Alright, so Raymu needs to go on the water. Any specific location or just in the water? The sea, huh? I didn't get a chance to relax, so maybe I should go out and have some fun. Is it finally time for this old man to shine? Hmm? That voice. While you may be able to swim through the Sea of Cloud, Master, it is not so for the sea. But I, I am Turtle. My flippers part the wind and the waves just as easily. Now is the time. The time for you to once again stand atop my back and... Guess it was just my imagination. What? What? You really can't hear me? So be it. I am but a reminder of an older era, someone from the past, destined to return to the past. I suppose I'll remain silent for a while longer then. Damn, bro. Wait, what's that level? Okay, I had a feeling it'd be decently high. So, let's just get moving, I guess. The Whatever unit I send back there is not going to be playing the game afterwards. So honestly, I should send Hina. Uh, no, because Hina's already kind of juiced up. Um, ugh, levels don't matter, though. Really, they don't. I think Sanai actually has, uh, like, good damage in water. But I can't get her to location A. The rabbits will probably move. Uh, I think I'll send Sanai up that way. Why not? I'll send Sanai up that way, and I'll send everybody else just further down. I'm pretty sure reinforcements show up in some capacity in this stage. Yumiko can just go over here and kill somebody. Well, it might not kill, but we'll do it. Oh, I like the Moon Rabbit theme. Yeah, they're not that strong. It's nice that he even has dialogue. Do you like how the audio mixing, like, completely fixed itself? Like, the music was so loud, and then Yumiko's theme is like, Ah, you did want volume suppressant. I did, yes, how did you know? <laughs> Alright, can Rabbit reach that? Can Rabbit reach that? Yeah, Rabbit can, okay. Get him, Rabbit. And now the rabbit music is back. But, it, like, the volume mixing is now better? I like rabbit's theme. It's not gonna kill, is it? No. I like rabbit's theme quite a lot. You know, it's funny. I don't have a lot of good things to say about Raisin, like, at all as a character. But... I do like... I do like this game's race, and, and I like uh, I like Genso Wanderer racing as well. I do enjoy those particular racings, but actual like, do I not reach? Oh, I don't have a power. Regular race and like, Silent Center and Blue Racing is just a nothing character. She's a nothing character. Love Tenchi's theme though. Jesus, Mima, chill. You didn't need to do all that. I want attention to kick rocks. All 
Alright, let's get moving. Here comes my big ass robot with no movement. Debuni. Alright. And Hina can just go wherever she wants. Hina has complete domination over the map. <laughs> what button is it? I think it's this button. There we go. <laughs> just look at that. Look at that. She can go anywhere she wants. This is Hina's world, and we're living in it. Hina doesn't really need the EXP, so... We'll send the ship down here. And I guess we'll stick Hina next to it. Just for weakening, but, you know. We gotta do it in five turns. We got the units for it. Oh, I meant to zoom in the map. Alright, that's fine. See, the thing about, like, Rayson's character is, there is an idea to her. She's a rabbit who ditched, and she, and, and the circumstances got her involved with, uh, the Lunar Corpse. But after she gets sent back to Moon, it's like her character no longer matters. So the only purpose to her character, essentially, was just to, as a plot device. And then nothing she does after that is really relevant or interesting. So when you actually let her be a character, you can do a couple more things with her. It's not like she's anything particularly like unique or special, but just letting her do anything more than simply exist. And I think the part that really annoys me about it... I think the part that really annoys me about it is that... Like, she keeps showing up in chapters and being a nothing character during it. It's like, oh, here's a chapter that's uh, looking at Yorihime and Toyohime's opinions on, like, what's going on right now. And it's always from her perspective, like, it, her perspective matters. Like, she just, she just walks the, she walks the audience's camera around the Lunar Capital. That's what she does. But, like, even though there's a chapter dedicated to her in Runagate, it doesn't really do anything for her. And Runagate's specific chapters are great characterization. Runegate's chapters is where you get, like, all of Moko's backstory. Like, they did great. Uh, Runegate did great for Moko. But then Raisin, it's just... Like, the whole point of Runegate is it explains different details. Can you guys get out of the fucking water? It explains different details throughout the course of Silent Center in Blue. And, like, more, more direct character, uh... It's more direct character, like, thoughts on different things. And Moko's is really good. But I don't actually remember much of anything for, uh, for Raisins, because it kind of just recaps what she did when she fell in the shrine. Ends up at the, at the Watatskis, and then, she, like I said, she's just kind of a, she's just kind of a plot device, like messenger girl type of deal. She shows up, she does something. We'll do that. She shows up, she, she talks to them, they talk to her, and then we get, like, we the audience gets information from the Watatskis, and then it goes back to the part we actually want to watch, which is Remy in her high chair on, on the, on the rocket. <laughs> That's the part I want to watch. Does Raisin actually do anything when they fight? Oh, uh, okay. The music was silenced. Does Raisin do anything when they fight Yorihime on the beach? Legit question. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember if Raisin actually did anything, or if she just showed up in panels and, and talked. Raisin's not even there. Oh, really? Huh. I shouldn't have used the slashy move, I guess. I don't think I'm gritted. I think I just did 10. Alright, well, we'll just let Yumiko take it. Actually, you know what? Rabbit, you've earned it. Take the shot. Take the shot, Lily W. 
Hmm. Moon Rabbits beat up the fairy maids, that's about it. But that doesn't make any sense. Does that even make any sense? How does that make sense? I thought the whole point of... The whole point of the fairy uh, fairies and why they were, you know, they employed was because Lunarians hate them. Now, I know that uh, Junko did some shit to make the fairies, like, super pure and it made the Lunarians go like, ew cooties. But... Didn't they already dislike fairies to begin with because they're just so representative of life? I'm gonna move my big ass robot down here. Send in the ship! The ship! Hmm. I guess bunnies don't give a shit about impurity. But that doesn't explain why they, they lost in, in Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom. In Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom, Sagume pretty much, like... Like, they, they just pretty much admitted defeat. They could not deal with the with the fairies. Which means the moon rabbits couldn't do it, right? That, doesn't that make sense? Now granted, this is years apart. This is years apart, so maybe it was, you know, one of those deals. But my point is that, like, they, they kind of just gave up. Lunarians were like, no, we can't win. Can't win, we lose. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, idiot, we lose. But then in, in, uh, in... Silent Center in blue, it's like, oh, okay, they, I, maybe they can, I guess they can fight fairies, so why couldn't they fight Junko's fairies, right? Why couldn't they fight Junko's fairies? Junko's fairies were just fairies. Cl sure, Clown Piece is like, Omega Fairy, and could probably solo all of them. But, you know. Maybe it's just a subtle nod to the fact that Zun is not good at writing. Oh, no! Oh no, streamer, you can't say that. That'll make people mad. No, Zun, Zun all we cook. He all we cook. All we. Everything he has ever written has been straight fire. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. So this is the moon, Lady Makura. Indeed it is. What a beautiful place. Crossing the sea, I expected to see all sorts of sights, but all of it has surpassed my expectations. Does it interest you then? Toyohime. I'd heard you hated the moon, but thank goodness you're enjoying it. I believe you were wary of our advanced technolo technology and culture. Hmm. Indeed? Hmm. <clears throat> it w I was. I thought progress could only lead to ruin. But that's not true for Gensokyo, although it's t I still haven't confirmed it. Sounds like you might be changing your mind, at least. I mean, if you hadn't, you'd never have resurrected his Otensoku. I'm not so sure about that. Isn't it pretty admirable to do that for someone who betrayed you? As I said earlier, there was no particular reason for it. And while you say he's resurrected, Hisotensuku is still a being that can only exist in a dream. I may as well let you spend some time with him, only for a brief moment. Hmm. Hmm. Bro wants to get his mind shook. I don't- I don't think Silent Center in Blue is perfect. I think Silent Center in Blue falls short in a lot of places. I like the early chapters of Silent Center in Blue because they're fun. But Lunarians were designed to be an undefeatable threat. And, well, yeah. People have had issues with Lotus Eaters and um, uh, Cheating Detective. Lotus Eaters can be pretty boring. It can be pretty boring, but it has a couple chapters that I think are pretty swell. Like overall, Lotus Eaters is. It's, I don't think it's. I don't think it's better than Forbidden Scrollery. I think the art's great. I think some of the stories are completely pointless, and I don't care about them. But there's a couple of them that I thought were pretty good. And CDS just kind of does nothing for 25 chapters. Like it chases its tail for 25 chapters, and then it's like, hmm, conclusion soon. So CDS is not really an engaging story, you know. It feels like it, a lot of the success of CDS comes from the fact that so many characters are coming back as cameos or, like, important to the main, uh, story arc. Stuff like that. But otherwise, it's just kind of like, uh, okay, we go here, whoa, there she goes again, now we gotta chase her again. The written works are hit or miss. They're hit or miss. Some of them lore build, 
Some of them are fun. Some chapters are boring. Some chapters are pointless. I told you before, I... I, like, legitimately fell asleep reading Cola. Cola is fucking boring. <laughs> Cola is boring. Cola will put you to sleep. You have to actively be engaged in the series to want to read Cola. That's my opinion. They're here, the invaders from the Cyphus! Prepare yourselves with the coastal rabbits. Watch out everyone, they got reinforcements. Um... Glorp? What do they mean by coastal anyway? We've gathered the most motivated rabbits from those that guard the coast. The incident isn't happening in the litter capital, it's happening on the beach. Oh, right. There were these girls too. Really getting into it, huh? Looking at them now, isn't it almost charming? But these rabbits attacks sure mean business. Looks like they leveled up since we fought them before. If so, perhaps it's because of how you imagine them. What do you mean? As I mentioned before, I relied on the memories of those who've been to the moon to reconstruct this world. If they felt threatened at the time, they could affect your, their mental image, making their opponents stronger. What a convenient explanation for this pain in the butt dream! But if they weren't any stronger than uh, back then, they wouldn't be worth our time. Is that all? Let's take care of them real quick! They- okay. You wanna fight me? I don't think you wanna fight me. Alright. They leveled up. Yeah, a bit. Hmm. You're free to like or dislike uh, the written works. Those is a few times it rewards the character for doing something bad. You mean like the bad characters? CDS feels like it's dumbing down some to accommodate Mizuchi. It turns Tori mind reading into an active hindrance to her. I don't know if they've made it a hindrance to her, but they made Patchy get her on her ass for it, which I thought was actually pretty good. She made it apparent that Satori relies too heavily on her mind reading that she lost. She loses the ability to make simple deductions as a result of just always having access to the answers. And Patchy kind of gets on her for that. And I think that actually affects her. That does actually affect her. So you can argue that that interaction alone makes Satori not want to do that. But also, there's kind of a reason why they're trying to find Mizuchi. So she should probably be exercising every utility like that she has. But it's also possible that her using her mind powers don't doesn't really work. Because reading somebody's heart who's possessed or was possessed or is possessed, that doesn't really I don't know. I'm not I'm not Zun. I don't know how his character works. I don't know how his character works, and I don't think he does either. But once it's done, once it's done and you know, we see how it ends, it'll be it'll be another it'll be another bookmark in the written work saga. Will it be a strong one? I think that most stories end up being looked back on more favorably after they're concluded because you know where the final outcome has arrived at, right? Wildhorn Hermit, Forbidden Scrollery. Do you think people were looking at those as they were airing or like releasing and thinking that they were the greatest thing ever? I'm sure people had their complaints. Like imagine when the Fortune Teller chapter came out. I was not, uh, I was not around for that. But that chapter is pretty divisive, and imagine that being the newest chapter of Forbidden Scrollery, right? People would have words to say there. <clears throat> Satori never met Mizuchi while she was possessing someone. Well, technically she did. When they got caught in, uh, in the temple. That, that's why, that was her plan after all. She got possessed and then fucking flung through the big spear through her heart. So she did meet her there. I ended up disliking them more after the ending. Well, you're special, okay? You're you're just uh you're just a special boy, I guess. All right. What what what, what more can I say? Blood doesn't like anything that isn't blue, small, and freezes people. Like, what can I what can I what can I do? What can I do to fix you? Nothing. I can't do anything. I like Sengetsu Sei. More and more, I find that Sengetsu Sei is the best written work because it's just fun. Hmm. The fairy manga ending was crap. Dude, just don't read Visionaries and you can have the fairy manga end however you want. You can have it end with them moving into Reimu's backyard. You know that, right? You can just, you can just, you can just do that. I still like Forbidden Scrollery a lot for what it does. 
for the world of Toho. But honestly, Sengetsusei is a lot more to, like, Sengetsusei's in entirety is more in line with how I think of Gensokyo. Minus the final chapter of Visionaries, because something serious actually does happen in that one. Which is great, uh, it's fine. It's a fine, it's a fine ending. I like Clown, Clown's fun, Clown's a fun character. Alright, time to fly. We got some lasses up here. Alright, I want to slap the shit out of this rabbit. Because I want to hear Snice theme. Slice of Life Toho is its finest. I, I agree, I agree. The Slice of Life aspect of Toho is my favorite part of it. Not too serious. Not too grim. I don't mind, you know, I like the action. I don't mind it when it's somewhat serious. When it has good theming. But for the most part, Toho for me is... You know, it's like yokai retirement. It's yokai retirement. Just living their best life in the only place left that can accept them. That's what I like. Hmm. It's always nice to see some of these moves again. I like this move, it's funny, but I mostly just like the theme, because the theme is really good. Hmm. How many enemies are even left? Not very many. I can get a drink, hold on. Uh, all right, Rainbow. I guess you can just go kill all of these. Can I hit you with barrier from here? Almost. It has an A in water rating. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck that rabbit up. Huh. Uh, Wildhorn Hermit's ending was. Fine. I think Forbidden Squallery's ending was fine. Sengetsusei's was fine. Because ultimately something happens and things kind of go back to the way they were. But it is cool to see some presentation of like, oh, this could be serious. But at the end of the day, it, it goes back to being as it was. Because that's really what Toho is. I suppose. But that depends on who you ask. We always go back to the way it was. It's always nice and calm and relaxing and fun. See, I have to wonder how much of that was due to, like, the fans. Just, because the fans just wanted to do things with characters and it was easy to make characters interact and engage and such. And there's all, like, the easiest way to make characters engage is let low stakes types of uh, interactions, right? So maybe the fan, like, the, the fan stuff so much buildup of the fan stuff kind of painted the picture of Toho. Whereas Zun's idea of Toho is not as not as slice of lifey. But he's not like he can do anything about it now, right? Nothing you can do about it. That's fine with me though. I do think about that sometimes. Like, is how Toho is perceived by some people what Zun had intended with Toho, right? He understands that fans exist. He doesn't really go out of his way to cater. But I do wonder if his ideas for the series are in line with how some people view it. Specifically me, because I only care about me. I only care about me. Only my opinion matters. Hmm. I don't think Zen would ever kill off a character, though. I don't think he'd ever want to, like, kill a character. Like, an important character, mind you. He wouldn't want to kill an important character. So that's good. Drop the missile. It's canon if I agree with it, you can ignore it if I don't agree with it. Exactly. Exactly. If it's canon, you can't refute me, and if it's not canon, well, um, sorry, sweetie, uh, it's- it's okay, because headcanon exists, and I'm allowed to have headcanon. 
It's funny how selective some people will be. <laughs> okay, Tenshi, why the fuck did you just enter the water like that? You just want to go bloop bloop? Is that what it is? Get off the sand, dumbass. Holy shit. What a fucking genius that one was. There's uh, There are double standards to this kind of thing, yes. There are double standards. You have to respect the lore if the lore agrees with me, and you don't have to respect the lore if, I'd, if uh, I don't agree with the lore. That's how it works. Ugh, these girls are strong! I give up. We tried our best, so this counts as doing our job, right? Phew, it's finally over. Easy as pie, they don't match for us now. They have an overwhelming lack of real combat experience. Eh, they just picked the wrong opponents. Please forgive us, we mean no harm to the moon. I think the going easy on them was good training in its own way. Thank goodness we didn't let them see Eden or Kaguya, though. Even if anyone saw us, I doubt any of them would recognize us. It's still better that we weren't seen, though. But the real problem is what comes next. Next? Oh, right. Hmm, what are you talking about? If this dream is repeating what happened in reality, it's about time for her to arrive. Yeah, her. What are we talking about? Y'all look like you've seen a ghost. Hua! What's wrong, Miko? I don't know why, but I just felt the biggest chill down my spine. She'll burn my wool again. Miko's acting so weird. Did she eat something she found on the ground? It seems the approaching aura triggered the trauma deep within her heart. And she's not the only one. The spiritual power has made a strong impression on a lot of you. Yeah, we know. How could we ever forget? It's just as the report said. Reinforcements, huh? Then the commander in the middle must be... Lady Orihime! I never imagined the Lunar Barrier would be penetrated so easily. But now that I, Watatsuki no Yorihime, am here, this little charade is at its end. Bonus chapter get. Wow. That was a 30 minute chapter. Damn, I guess we do one more. Shit, man, I guess we do one more. That was a quick ass chapter. And, and now randomly we have to bring more units. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I'm okay with those units. Those units are chill. Yeah, 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 that works for me. All right, I'm gonna switch, um, I'm gonna give Genji back to Shinki again. So she can move, and I'm going to give you the enemy marker. Okay, there we go. Alright, you guys want some EXP? Here you go. You want EXP? You can have EXP. Hmm. Sure. Give everybody a little bit... New skill for medicine, Suzudan Prayer. Okay. Cast prayer on all allied units. Cool. Alright. Guess we head to the next one, boys. Hmm. Eight hour super secret boss battle. No, there's three chapters, so we can definitely do the second one, and then we can save the last one for better time, I think. Maybe. We'll see. But we can definitely afford to do one more chapter. Bonus two! According to the report, there are intruders from Earth. But how do they manage to pierce the lunar barrier? Looks like they came here on that weird ship over there. If they can do something like that, though, then they're ordinary Earthlings. True, I can feel traces of divine power. Whoa, 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 what do we do? You already found us. Isn't this really bad? She's gonna treat us like intruders. I mean, we kind of are. What do we do if this turns serious? This is just a dream. I don't want any trouble. Don't worry. When we came here for real, all we had to do was hand over the letter, and she let everyone go. What letter? All right, Eden's letter. We just handed over, and we're clear. Wait, where is it? Again? Where'd you drop it this time? No, I don't think I've seen it since the stream started. Hey, Makara, did you remember to recreate the letter? The letter. Hmm. Well, we're doomed. 
It's probably because the people who went to the moon never saw what was written in the letter. She'd have nothing to base it on. What are you all mumbling about over there? Who are you anyway? All oh, right, Lady Yorihime, I had something to report. It seems that among this group are two people pretending to be you and Lady Toyohime. Imposters, then. How strange. How would they even know about her appearances in the first place? We'll need to investigate this. Stop hiding in the ship and show yourselves. Uh, um... This could have gone better. I guess there's no time for sightseeing. Then it's time for desperate measures! Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> just, just suddenly just threw Aaron overboard. Huh? Someone came out. Hold on, do you understand my position here? Don't worry! Yo-Yo loves you, Aiden! And the rabbits probably won't recognize you anyway. There won't be a problem with getting to talk to her. That's not the problem, though. I impossible! Why are you here? Don't tell me it's an imposter. But this feeling, there's no doubt. See, just as planned, she's confused. Oh well, what's done is done. Yorihime, I need to speak with you. Listen carefully, we're not from this dimension. What? You can think of us as strangers from another place in space-time. So while we're the same people you know so well, in another sense, we're not the same. Do you understand? Strangers? You're not the same Lady Yakukoro? I see, so her plan is to get Yorihime to understand. Still, strangers, huh? I guess we're counterparts from a parallel universe, then. I mean, that's kind of true, but why do you look so happy about that? I'm sorry for springing something so shocking on you all of a sudden. If you let us go, I promise we'll return to our own world without causing any trouble. I can hardly believe it. Your voice is just like hers, and even the look in your eyes. Even now, I find myself just wishing this were real. You are a Hime. However! Huh? Isn't it far too convenient for you to show up in front of me right now? In other words, this is an illusion! A phantom born from my immaturity! Yes, this is because I've still held onto the hope of meeting you again. Um, Lady Yorihime? Oh dear, looks like this is going in a weird direction. It's because Lady Yakokoro showed up so suddenly, she's so confused right now. Sheesh. If this is a recreation of reality, then I suppose it was our fate to run into trouble here. If that's how she's gonna play it, then we can't just sit back either. Prepare for battle, everyone! Oh god, alright. Bring it in! More of them are pouring out, Lady Yorihime! What do we do about the imposters? Are they from a parallel universe or illusions or what? <clears throat> just pretend you never heard any of that. Yes, ma'am. We may not know their true identities, but our mission is to fight anyone who trespasses on the moon. First we seal their movements, the investigation can come afterward. It seems she's already recovered, as expected of a lunar of the lo leader of the lunar emissaries. Is this really the best time to be praising her? She's completely into this now. So how do we handle this? If we face her head on, we're in for a tough fight. If we're cooperative, she'll probably let us, e let us off easy. Indeed, I agree. Even if this is a dream, violence is never the answer. Philanthropy, even at a time like this. How consistent of you, my lady. It sounds rather dull, if you ask me. If she wants a fight, why not humor her? That's more like it. We're on the moon! Don't you think our lineup last time was a little lonely? Then let's do it with everyone this time! A Danmaku festival for all. Yay, a mountain of corpses! It seems opinions are divided. Both sides have a point, but... Marissa, you decide what we're gonna do. Hmm... What? Oh, whoa, 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 wait, which one's translated? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have, I have to pick the one that's translated. I can't pick the one that's not translated. Wh which, which one's translated? Which one's translated? It, it's not my choice, chat. It's not my choice. If I click the one that's not translated, we get nothing out of this. Party time? All right. Well, I mean, it's not like... It's not like we aren't going to be fighting her anyway. So now that we got the second chance, we better enjoy it while we can. Marissa, don't tell me you mean... Duh, it's a Danmaku festival. Hey, hold on, what do you think you're doing? It's her! I seem to recall picking the option in this fight last time that gave her like 150 starting power and pissed her off greatly. I don't remember what I told her though. Hold on, what do you think you're doing? It's her! Oh? I assumed you'd be terrified, but instead you're challenging me. But I suppose with that much power, nothing in this world could scare you, could it? 
Ah, I thought she'd get angry, but it sounds like she's calmly evaluating us. Last time she was so intimidating, but I suppose we've grown since then. Regardless, this is dangerous. Your image of her as a powerful opponent is just too strong, meaning your feelings could potentially make her even more powerful than she was back then. Wait, even stronger than that? So what do we say here will lead to a fork in our destiny? Now, what will you do? Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, what? Hmm? Wait a minute. <laughs> what, what did that, what? Why, why is Yuka get a conversation all of a sudden? So which one, which one pisses her off? Turn her into fertilizer. <laughs> Kill. That's right, I was just in the mood for some fertilizer. And you seem like you make for some quality fertilizer. What? Wait, Yuka, what are you saying to Yorihime of all people? It's so dreary here. Wouldn't you want a flower patch too? But I'd need fertilizer to grow them in a place like this. Well, that's probably true. Medicine, no, you mustn't look in her eye. She picked a fight with Yukari too, so she's just that hardcore. Now I understand. So this is your true nature. I've made some brief observations, and all I see is intolerable insolence. Even a heart as vast as the ocean would struggle to forgive this. I understand that no mercy remains for you. Ugh, what is this level of spirit? The radar's been destroyed! Is this Yorihime's true strength? No, it's even more brutal than last time. It's just as I had feared, the strength of the Yorihime we see before us is not a strict reproduction of your memories. The image of her that you all hold is most likely what pro produces level of power. I don't see the problem. If anything, this is what I was waiting for. Today we've assembled every member of Fantasy Maiden War. Dream. If your Yorihime's strength has increased, then we just have to outdo it. You've got spirit, I'll give you that. However, you will soon come to regret it. Even if you were to prostrate yourselves before me, I would not forgive you. I'll engrave the sin of invading the moon onto your very bodies. Uh, I don't know what that bonus condition says. It says three and, and out of zero. So I'm assuming that means capture three spell cards. And she has 200 power and she's level 99. Oh. Huh. Hmm. That's, that's a lot of rabbits. Oh, that's a lot of rabbits. Hey, uh, hey buddy, what do I do? What do I do about this one, huh? What do we, how do we get out of this one? How do we get out of this, 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 this one? How do we get out of this one? S. It takes 10 to hit him with a night bird. Alright. Eight hour boss battle real? How about you stop typing eight hour boss battle and just watch this fight be over in 15 seconds, huh? Watch and learn. I didn't click tackle because I think tackle can be parried. Ow. I only give a little bit more EXP now for the level 80s. Alright, well. Get your ass in gear, team. We got... I think this was the chapter, but one of the chapters, Yorihime just immediately started gunning for me, and it was like, um, please don't come near me. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Because I definitely picked the option that maxed out her power. And she immediately aggroed towards me, and that was my first experience with double action. Because she came up so fast, and it was just, I quit, was not ready to handle it. Alrighty. Well, at least we're, we're making, we're making drops in the rank. Rank and file. It's party time. Imagine if you pick the top option and the chapter just ends. Chapter's just over. Like, oh, I don't want to play this chapter. Okay. You can go on to the next one then. Yoma was MVP because she kept activating her Bushido code. She's so strong. Actually, no, Sakuya is... Sakuya is Bushido. Let's <laughs> get the private square. 
Get down there, Squeeya. Throw some knives, Squeeya. Hmm. These two have similar color schemes. Like, very similar. Also have a sim similar air of dignity to them. Damn. Absolutely juiced. Alright, Yon, we'll get in there. Everybody get ready for a fight. Oh, get ready for a fight. I'm strategically placing my units in positions where I can engage in combat. I think I can reach that one with an amulet. Yeah, I want to do that. Get Flandre a little more power. <coughs> <coughs> Chat, my ribcage hurts. My ribcage hurts a little bit. Just a little bit. Today I did my routine. Three sets of ten. Squats, crunches, uh, push-ups, uh, runner starts, f uh, five burpees, uh, ten back extension pulls, five dips, five uh, pull-ups, and then ten uh, overhead extensions. And then I was on the bike for 45 minutes. That sounds like a lot, but I was not very, like, fast on it, so I stopped when I hit 100 calories tallied. That's when I stopped. Alright, I'm ready for a fight. Here we go. 100 calories, and it doesn't matter, because it's all going to come back again anyway. We're done for. I can't believe we're fighting you, Ahime. You're gonna capture us and we'll all face some horrible punishment! Even when everyone else is raring to go, you're still the same as ever, huh? This is the perfect opportunity to train for real combat. Face it without fear. A lady or him, eh? Japanese! Japanese! More Japanese! What is he saying? Ah, oh, I can't read! You're awfully calm about this. No, I'm not! I'm panicking! I can't read it! Most people will go, who are you, if they suddenly saw themselves appear. My actions won't change no matter who my opponent is. I cannot afford to be startled by every little thing. Yes, such is the leader's duty. Please don't start agreeing with each other. Lady Orihime is on our side, after all. Who's on whose side? No, I mean the other Lady Orihime. This has turned into a huge mess, and I think it'll only get worse the longer we stay on the moon. As soon as the Don Maku battle is over, we should make a quick escape. She didn't move, okay. Damn, you can reach, okay. No, it's like, uh, the bike was just like, I was kind of bored. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do while I waited to stream. So I was like, I'll just turn it into a long cardio day. So I just watched something on the bike and then 45 minutes passed me by. And then it was three o'clock and I was like, all right. It became three o'clock and I was like, all right, I'll just get ready for uh, for the stream now. Mm. Oh. Ow. Ow. I like the elliptical more just because I need to get like a better cushion for my my bike. I have a towel on it right now, but I pretty much knocked all the inflation out of it, so it doesn't really help with padding. And then my ass gets uncomfortable. And when your ass gets uncomfortable, you want to stop. Even though that your your body can still handle it, like your ass starts to be like, "Come on. Come on, man. Get up. Sit up." I just want like a cushion on the seat. It's an old bike. That's the problem. It's an old bike, it doesn't have a lot of cushion. But it was a hand-me-down from my mom. Because, shocker, I'm gonna, I'm gonna diss my mom real quick. <laughs> I asked my mom if she had a cardio bike she's not using, and she was like, sure do. I was like, ah, yep, figures. It's a bit, it's, you know, it's, maybe it's rude to say, but I, 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 I didn't know if she had one, but I had a feeling she would have one, and then she actually had one, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I, uh, yep, yeah, okay. I've been told that the best way to get uh, workout equipment is to shop like local markets because there's a lot of people who will buy expensive gear for working out and then they will stop working out. That actually hit a 16%. They will stop working out and they will just try to recoup their losses by selling the equipment, which is kind of sad in a way, but. You know, there, I think there's a, I don't want to say a term necessarily, but there are some people who 
when they're actively getting into something, they invest way too heavily at the start. And they don't have the willpower to keep up with it. So, as a result, they just drop a, uh, they drop a cash bomb, and then, like, a couple weeks later, they're like, Oh, cool, that's a reminder of a purchase that I made that I'll never use. Some people do do that. They buy a bunch of stuff to get into it, and they don't actually get into it. So, it's just like, oh, what do I do now? What do you do now with it? Oh, I think Star Sword is fine. I like to listen to more of Shinky's theme, though. I would. That's why I said about my tablet, too. I got my tablet for like 150 bucks with uh, shipping and all that included. So, that tablet was on the cheaper side, but it was still pretty expensive. Now, anybody can tell themselves they don't intend to quit when they start, but an, uh, a helpful thing for me to think of was that if I quit, then I just spent $150 on something I will never use. And I was like, man, that would really fucking suck. So, that wasn't the main motivator, but it was definitely a factor in the back of my mind. That's what happens when you're approved with cash. Is you, you, you take those purchases seriously, so if you fucking splurge like that, like a dumbass, you better, you better make, you better get your money's worth. It is sunk cost fallacy, essentially, yes. But, at the same time, it's better to, it was better for me to hit the, the middle ground with it. Like, I didn't want to buy a fucking professional screen tablet for a ridiculous amount of money. But I wanted a tablet that was more than $20 so it would actually work. And I wouldn't have to replace it. Alright, moving forward. Moving forward. One more space. Sakura is actually going to be decent for hitting Yorihime, if only because she has the ability to dodge her, and Yorihime is a fucking cheater. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you have to you have to make up the cost for it. Like I said, the bike's a hand me down. I don't think it was overly expensive, but it's old, so uh, you know, it's an old bike. It's old, but it does its job. It still works. It's just the seating, the seat padding leaves a bit to be desired, but it's it's not an issue that can't be rectified. I just need to get something soft. Maybe I just need to get like uh, get a dumpy. Just get a dumpy so my ass is soft and squishy, and it will act as a it'll act as a cushion on its own. But then, what's the point of being on the bike? Because the <laughs> being on the bike is to get rid of that. How do you win? Decisions, decisions. Everybody's popping off. All right, Ruma, I need you to fly. Fly into this creature. Kill her. I've never really known anybody personally, like, for who does that. But I've heard, I've heard, like, just... Just people will buy things for things and then not use them for things, right? I bought, like, I bought workout equipment. Yeah, I'm gonna use it, and then you never use it. I bought dumbbells. I'm gonna use dumbbells. I'm gonna lift the dumbbells. Dumbbells are not cheap. You better fucking use them. You better use them, brother. They are not cheap. Fire the guns! Hmm. Oh, I don't have a real bike. I can't ride a bike. I have a... I just have the exercise bike. I'm not a cyclist. Oh, that actually killed this time. I don't cardio all the time. Not all the time. It should be amulet range. Not all the time. I do try to get my routine in there. Uh, yesterday, when I came back from work, uh, I don't have a lot of time to do a routine when I come back from work. Thankfully, I'm like on my feet, so it's not like I'm doing nothing. 
But yesterday, what I did was when I got home, I just did I did squats, dips, and pull-ups until I could not. I got 20 squats in, and I was like, my legs hurt. So I'm gonna not do that anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. Uh, and I got like seven or eight dips in. They got crusty, and then I was like, okay, no more of that. And then pull-ups was also like seven or eight. I was so gassed. I like doing pull-ups. Pull-ups make me feel strong. They make me feel strong when I can pull myself up over the bar. Like, all the way over the bar. Oh, right. I forgot. Yomu has the ability to commit action. Actually, yeah, we can shoot. We can do that, and then we can move after. Hmm. Water bottles shaped like dumbbells. Well, depends on the weight you want. I have 10s, 15s, 20s, and 25s. Uh, they're not cheap. 20. I, I'm not really using them right now because my the exercise routine that I'm doing right now doesn't need dumbbells, so I uh, it's all body weight stuff. But I for the overhead extensions I use the tens because overhead extensions are fucking hard. <laughs> and I tried 15s when I started and I was like I do not have good triceps. I don't even know if my form is right, because you put them over your head and you dip your arm back and it just feels wrong most of the time, and I'm not I'm not confident I'm doing it right. But I don't have anyone for a second opinion. That's the problem. It's a problem that I have. So I, I do I don't I also don't do one dumbbell. I do two dumbbells together. So instead of putting it all on one dumbbell, I do I'm holding two tens and I go back. And I feel something in there. And like I said, I also do dips. But I'd like, uh, I'd like my triceps to get a bit bigger because your arms look significantly bigger when your triceps get bigger. Because they're the vast majority of mass for your arm is your triceps. So you can have big biceps, but without big triceps, your arms aren't going to look big. Mm. Are they coming or what? I've killed like your entire force. Like, I can just sit here and wait. My my units are getting more power. She has to come to me eventually. See, look at this. Everybody's just hitting full power. I'm just sending Yumiko over to clean up over here. And like, no reason not to. Just hit it with a blade step. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. Bought a bunch of dumbbells. They're scattered all over his room. He better be using them. I want you to understand something, chat. Dumbbells are like... They're not cheap. I forget the price conversion, but I will tell you, when I bought my 20s and 25s and my 10s, like, together, that was nearly $300. It was a lot of money. The weight... The weight to price ratio is not cheap. That's why people say go to gym, because gym you have a full display and you can use. But, you know, with a home gym, you don't have to go anywhere. You can do it all at home. I mean, pounds or kg? To be honest with you, I do not remember. All I know is they are hexagonal. Or, sorry, they're... No, they're, they're hexagonal. And they have the numbers engraved on them. They're like rubber ends. I legitimately don't remember if they're pound or kg. I, I do not remember. I don't fucking remember. They just say 10, 15, 20, and 25 on them. <laughs> That's all I got. Alright, well, I guess now we play the waiting game. Move everybody in to... Uh, mom's protection all right see what happens I'm not moving any closer oh there she comes she doesn't even have double action dude doesn't even double action hmm. well if you're in construction yes your your daily labor is going to do a lot for you uh, the job that you work does does have impact on your exercise and you know, because you're when you're when you're working like that, 
Like, think farmers, right? Farmers are very active the entire course of the day. They do a lot. So they're physically fit. It's like a job requirement. For me, it's not really the case. I don't work a desk job. I'm on my feet. I move around. I lift stuff. But I'm not like... I'm not like construction labor. I consider it nice for maintenance, especially because I'm usually not feeling like doing anything after I'm done a shift. But I also feel like if I just worked a desk job, I would come home and, yeah, you know, I'd be mentally exhausted, but not physically. Isn't it literally just concrete and metal and rubber? I don't know, dude. I actually don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't remember. I, all I can tell you is they're the hexagonal ones, and they're rubber-ended, like, the, the ends are rubber, and they have 10, 15, 20, and 25 on them. I try not to think too much about it anyway, because people who judge others for the amount of weight they can do are pathetic. But, well, you know, that's just how it is in the world sometimes. Focus on what you're doing, not what other people are doing. That's the first thing they teach you. Or at least somebody who actually cares about you will teach you when it comes to lifting. It doesn't matter if another guy can lift a bunch. You gotta focus on what you can do. If somebody tries to give you shit because you can't lift as heavy, well, that's whatever. Why did that one move away? Yorihime is coming. She's coming. I'm ready for her. Ooh, I'm ready for her. And her rabbit entourage. Um, I'm not ready. Here we go. Oh, she's attacking. I can't hit her. She's gonna support attack herself. Well, have you prepared yourselves? You really are awfully calm, almost like your outburst back there was totally fake. I'm impressed with your ability to maintain your composure even after seeing us. Do not mistake this for a welcome. No matter which world you come from, you earthlings are nothing but trouble on the moon. To ensure the peace of the lunar capital, I will have you surrender quietly. That's the Guardian's sense of duty. Good enough for me. Remy, this time we'll beat her up and stick our flag here. Yeah, you have said that all that needs to be said. The rest will be discussed via Don Mako. For the honor of the Watatsuki name, I shall fully and beautifully. Oh, what's she gonna do? She's gonna cast Blade Beam. And Re Rumi is just gonna go... That did a lot of damage, actually. I mean, she's level 99, dude. She fucks. She does fuck. This can hit. That cannot hit. And then, okay, that's that's trippy to see. Rumi is fine. She's built. There you go. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm I'm basically banking on um. I'm basically banking on Bushido to activate, but Kane will be there for two support defenses, so she can handle it. The important thing is that she moved into me, so now I can I can dogpile her. See, that didn't even do 3,000, and that was a crit. Oh, she didn't support defend it, actually. Quite a powerful pose you got there. Yeah, come on. Yeah, might as well. Your Hemi's battle theme is pretty great. Hmm. Chad, it's only, uh, it's only five to seven. Only five to seven. What are we doing today? I don't know. I think, uh... Well, we don't have any more videos to watch. I don't know if Dushi and Ogi are gonna make any more anytime soon. I know Ogi expressed interest in 
doing some more videos as well. So when if they if they make either of them, if either of them make one, we'll watch them on stream again. We will watch them, and I will try to learn. But uh, yesterday I think went pretty well. I think yesterday went pretty well, and I think uh, I hope I retain the information. Let, okay, chat. I'm gonna recite the information. Let me know if I'm wrong. All right. You draw a snowman. Circle head, torso head. Uh, head circle, torso circle, pelvis circle. Equal distance between them and progressively getting bigger like a snowman. The hourglass figure, curve line about 15 degrees in and then 15 degrees out. And you do that to make like an X, kind, not an X, but like a hourglass shape connecting the uh, torso circle to the... Uh, pelvis circle. You can find where the crotch is, and then the legs, which are rhombuses, and they go at an angle, and they end up connecting to the circle to form the cheeks. And the jaw, small jaw, two straight lines for the neck, two straight lines for the traps. The shoulder circles should be on the torso and they should be they should fit within half of the circle head for the size of them and then the arms which are going to essentially be straight but can be angled a bit and then for the for the bottom legs and the forearms it's the straight line and then the one line out the one line back in like a high pointed diamond and then the legs shouldn't cross the center line Unless there's a cross-legged pose. Hmm. I think I remember it all. Alright, so what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Yeah, supremacy. Reattack. He all predict. So just hitting her is going to be a pain in the ass. But, I can hit her. Movement minus two in her bubble, huh? All right, let's let's um let's kill her. What's the best method of killing her? Well, I think what we should do is we should cast Zeal, so Rumia can act twice this turn. Um. Hmm. Hitting her is hard, but her hitting me is also hard. Yeah, she can't hit Koichi because of alert, but I still need I need to strike. Strike, strike, strike needs to happen. Let me see. Sense. Uh, was it Shinky who could cast strength on somebody? Yeah, Tune. She can do that. Rouse, bless. I could just sense with Koichi. It's really hard to hit Yorihime. I need to I need to hit strike on her. So I need to make sure I'm doing as much damage as possible. I can't hit her with Heartbreaker. Not from this range. Why is everybody on the ground? Wait a minute, get Get the fuck in the air, idiots. Why are we all on the ground? I feel like a fool. Is this one? Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, that one's just stuck there. Alright. I don't know why we're all grounded. Pretty sure every character has better attributes in the air than on the ground. Well, actually not all of them. Mailing, I believe, does work better grounded. Everybody can fly, so please fly. Oh. All right. All right, let's fix this. Let's figure this out. I don't know her HP, but I gotta hit her. I gotta hit her hard. I could... I could go for the juicer. I could go for the juicer, yeah. And 
then she has to cast that on herself after. And Miracle. Alright, let's get her. Ding, 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 ding. Alright, Rumia. Midnight Bird with summoning Taki Minakata. Let's get her. Oi, oi, oi. Now, in actuality, the only thing I have to do is knock her into her final attack. Or her first spell card and then wait for everything to finish. And I'm pretty sure I did that. I'm pretty sure that I did that in the actual chapter because I put myself in such an awful position that there was zero chance of me actually winning. And I kind of did that here as well. Well, let's see what happens. I don't even remember who was part of the original moon mission anymore. That didn't do very much. Oh man. Oh man, that, that didn't do very much. <laughs> that was that was fifteen thousand damage and that's not even a fourth of her health bar. It's alright, Rumia can Rumia can take it. She's very sturdy. Alright. So who gets the next hit? Bro, I actually gotta like I gotta dip into I gotta dip into my big damage. Huh. I don't really care about the wife points. And her her spell cards are gonna be stupid anyway. So let's just make sure that we can beat the shit out of her. I'm gonna make sure that can hit. Oh, that works. This is your super boss for you. <clears throat> you only gotta capture three of them is the thing. Well, actually, no, that makes perfect sense, because... Because she only- she has four attacks and the first health bar is- yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. They're all the same ones, but they're probably juiced up. Just put her in a bubble. Starting to think that maybe I shouldn't have done a second chapter, but... But... If I play like an absolute coward, we will get through this chapter. Actually, what's the losing condition? What is the losing condition to this map? Is it just the Palaquin ship gets destroyed? Because if that's so, I should probably send the Palaquin ship very far away. The ship must run. I don't think Yorihime has pass, so she will have to cleave through bodies to get through. And she's more than capable of that. Sploosh. Look how much HP she has for the non. Oh my god, dude. That was soul charged, too. That was soul charge. Halfway there. Well, we're gonna send the ship away. It did zero for some reason. Probably still eats the grit though. All right, we gotta run. <laughs> we gotta run, boys. See ya. Whoosh. All right, a path has been opened up. 
But that's okay because Hisso Tensoku is gonna jump right in front of it. Bro is gonna jump right in front of it. You cannot defeat the giant robot. He is too cool. He cannot move. What? What's going on, brother? <laughs> he, he can't. He simply can't. Alright. Alright, that's fine. It's still- it's- there's still an effective wall here. Now that I look at it, this is quite the strange Iron Giant they brought along. This kind of technology can't possibly be from Earth. Perhaps all that talk about a parallel universe was the truth after all. Regardless, a humanoid weapon is both irrational and inefficient. And yet, the other Orihime keeps glancing over at Hiso Tensoku. Ooh, I get it! She's jealous! Don't be absurd! I'm simply concerned for the moon's public order. Why is our Yorihime replying? It's certainly an out-of-place artifact by Earth's technological standards. Now our parallel universe explanation is much more convincing. This is it. Let's see what this restored yokai robot is really made of. You can do it, Hiso Tensoku! Secret dialogue for Robot Man. Yes. You gotta let him get his beep boop sounds in. That's his dialogue. He's so strong. If only he could have a support with him. Hmm. This fight right now reminds me of one of those early game fights where an enemy comes down who you're not actually supposed to kill. You just have to hit them enough and they're like, man, fuck you guys. I'll come back at a later chapter and then you can kill me. And that happens a lot in early game. That's what this chapter feels like right now. Like, I'm just supposed to hit her with everything I got until she's like, damn, all right, I'm leaving. See ya. That's all she needs. I'm gonna blow it at Kingdom Come. All right. Goodbye. All right. And we got Hit Grit. Valor. Strike. Strike. Alright. I should probably overheat. Yeah. Let's go maximum. The goal is to just hit her to her spell card and then, uh play super lame until the spell card where she gets passed because then I probably have to break through that one because if I don't it will she will literally run through me all I can do at that point is cast alert but alert doesn't work because the support attack will guaranteed hit the ship it'll only got block one of her actions and I can't just keep running around her Cha-cha-cha! When you overheat, Utsuo goes back to being non yadagarasu Utsuo. So she can use Super Ultra Deluxe Knockout Utsuo, uh, Utsuo Punch. It does... It doesn't do very much. But she can do it. You can also de-equip her and make her that unit anyway, and I think she's a 1.0 unit in that state. God, her HP, it's its not like Makrata final attack, but it's definitely outlandishly high compared to everything else prior to this. And I wonder if that's because of the options I picked that she has, the HP has changed. I don't know. I still can't see your fucking health bar. I still can't see the health bar, and she's that low. Holy Christ, bro. Holy Christ. 
Alright. Who's my best answer to dealing this much HP? I guess Yumiko. And, uh... That's not 10,000. I think I might actually need to do this. And... It'll be fine. Valor up, Valor up, strike. Strike. Yeah, strike. Okay. Hmm. So, we gotta move... Oh, we can get right in their face. What's the range I need for Saber Dance? Two. All oh, right, full metal. All right, will this be enough? I do not know. We still have plenty of units capable of attacking, but depending on the HP threshold here, we can kind of choose who gets the, the last hit. Yomu is a good choice because she'll get her action back. So there's no risk in having Yomu like kill because Yomu can get her action back by taking the unit out. It's just that HP threshold right now, I cannot tell. So I'd rather bank it on... Okay, there it is. 75,000 HP. So this is probably overkill with Yumiko. But better safe than sorry. Valid up, Yumiko will probably do about 8,000 to 9,000. But the crit bonus, she will probably... Okay. I might be eating my words, and this might have been required to... We'll see how much this does. She does gain the bonus, like, flat 1,000 for a crit. There you go. Fi oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that barely killed her. That barely killed her. Jesus Christ, that barely killed her. Yeah, it worked! Looks like I really can't afford to let my guard down. Given their strength, I suppose it's only to be expected. However, this is far from all that I am capable of. Careful, she's about to use that move! You mean invoking the gods, understood! I'm, I'm surprised that an opponent I've never met before already knows my moves. But you'd be making a huge mistake if you think that means you can handle them. That's Yorihime's blade is covered in divine flame. Heat, we're all gonna burn! I'm used to the heat, how about we fight fire with fire? If we're talking Divine Flames, Yalagodasu has them too. No matter how many embers you gather, it's merely a matter of blowing them all away at once. God of Fire, Hino Kagutsuchi. Become a blade to exercise evil. Alright. Final damage plus 800. And she doesn't have pass. So I just have to... Boys, I just have to fucking... I just gotta... All I gotta do right now is play the game called... Oh man. We have to form the defensive wall. We have to form the defensive wall. And by that I mean stick every character I can think of who has uh, a cheap move to dodge in front of her. All right, Rumia, you are in you are in pain. You are in pain, but I need you to seal her in. Can you seal her in? Oh, this actually sticks for the whole turn. But I can't I can't get away with another one. Wait, does she have cookies? No, she doesn't have cookies. Of course she doesn't have cookies. Fucking idiot. Lily, help her. <laughs> Lily, help her. I need you. I need you to help her. Uh, actually, Kane can support defense, so giving her some HP is helpful. Heal, Romeo, heal! Oh, that was so little. I trust you! I trust you! 
She can handle it. She's made of tough stuff. Oh my god, standing directly across from her? Look at the penalties you received from that. Ew. Ew. Well, boys, we have to hunker down and save and quit spam, lol. Yep. We gotta save and quit spam so we don't uh, have to deal with this. Streamer, really? Yes, really. Yes, fucking really. She's a cheater. She's a cheater. She cheats. I'm just glad she doesn't have any of that nonsense with her extra accuracy bullshit. Look at her stats! What the fuck? 370. I don't know what that is, but that's a big number. What does it compare to Rumia's? Dude. <laughs> I don't even know what those numbers mean! Alright, time to set. Time to set. Sakuya? Dude, Sakuya will just get out of the way because she's that good. This is, Sakuya has to activate Private Square. Kane can defend one. And then Sakuya has to dodge the other. And if she doesn't, well, then we're going to have to enter a different timeline. Alright, well, Kane takes the first one. Jesus, she did not take that well. I'm pretty sure I have her equipped with the spear that increases the likelihood of her thing activating, but I don't remember. Alright, private square, 25%. Yeah, good shit. D -d -d dodge. What? Me? Pog me! Okay, she can only have a blade beam. Also, Rayson is taking the hit from me. Raisin is taking the hit from me, but Playbeam is gonna miss because Koichi has auto cast alert. Thanks, Raisin. You a pal. I'm glad she chose this attack. Cheater mechanics. And Raisin will now take 5 billion damage. Oh, Raisin was not support. Marissa must support attack, not support defense. Alerta. Alerta. Oh, there's still rabbits alive. Bro. Bro. Get the fuck out of here. Read the mood! Oh, it was because it was support attack. I guess because support attacks take place at the end of the turn. I don't know. I used so much- I used so many resources to get her to the spell card. I don't think I have enough resources to get all of her spell cards after the conditions that I have forced myself in. Alright, if they want to come up here and get shot by Utsu, who am I to like, who am I to complain? There you go. We'll help Yorihime. Pop, pop. No, you won't. Pitted Missile. You get a lot of time to get out of the way of that one, huh? Kick and shoot. Careful, Moko. Don't get in the way. Getting kicked does hurt, but that's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. All right. Okay, ship, I need you to get the fuck out of here. I must send you to the farthest corner away from Yorihime as possible. See ya. Alright. Is everything... Everything good? Everything kosher? Hold on. Where's Dai? Dai's with Yuka. I'll bring Kane back to life. And... Koishi Spine. Koishi and Satori both have a built-in uh, auto 2000 heal for everybody. Regret and alerted. Okay. 
I don't mind her attacking Koishi that much because of the situation we're in. Alright, turn two. Sakuya again. Okay. 84%. There's actually a chance she can dodge it, but we'll see. And she just, But she still has to private square the follow attack. I don't remember if she has anything that increases the odds of it working at lower HP. But I'm pretty sure if she gets hit by this at all, she's dead. Alright, Kane takes the first one. She's hanging in there, man. She's not that high of a level compared to everybody around here, but she's doing her job really well. Here comes another one. Holy shit. She's dead. That's not good. The 3,400. She, so she actually could take another one. Okay. So I can actually cast trust on her and bring her to an HP threshold where she can survive one. I didn't think she had it in her to take that. I really didn't. You know, I was thinking, uh, with the MP values chat, I think they're pretty funny. Actually, we'll click defend. I think the MP values are funny because it's obvious that the bosses are not intended to run out of MP because that would be stupid. So they have, they, their, their moves take like no MP and they have MP regen so you can't stall out the boss. I remember when I played Fire Emblem Three Houses, I played uh, one of the early chapters you have to deal with a bandit enca encampment and the bandit will not leave the fort he's on. He does not have a ranged weapon either. And that game does not give penalties. Like if you break a weapon in that game, you are, you have a penalty like accuracy and damage, but you can still use it. So I spent a couple hours on that chapter and I gave all of my units bow and arrows and they took pot shots at that bandit until they all had an archery skill that was like good. Is that, is that bad? Maybe. It was like a 73 turn map, I think. And then I got bored, but yeah. You could just pot shot broken bow and arrows at this guy, and he would not do anything about it. And you would always get weapon proficiency skill out of it. Now, that's not really ex what I was talking about. I just want to bring that up. But, final boss... Oh, she just flat out dodged it. How's that even possible? It was an 84%. It was 100%. How the fuck? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, There was a game I played on 3DS. Conception 2. That's what it was called. Not a good game, by the way. Wouldn't recommend it. But, not the point. Not the point, not the point, not the point. Um, uh, the, the, that game did not have any contingency plans for MP running out. So, I played the game, I was playing the game pretty, like, I was, like, everything I fought I killed. I was getting, I was doing all this, I, I was doing everything I could. So, I reached a point where I got bored and I just wanted to finish the game because I was pretty much done and I just wanted to finish it and I couldn't kill the boss like I, I couldn't kill the boss like at all because he was a cheating asshole and I was like this is fucking stupid and then I noticed something strange he stopped using his magic attacks like I kept just healing off the damage and then eventually he stopped using magic attacks and I realized he ran out of MP so the final boss of the game ran out of MP and could do nothing but basic attack me. He couldn't heal or hurt me anymore with spells, so I just... I just beat him up. Fight took forever, but that's what happened. Uh, they're speaking Japanese. I can't read it. Why are they speaking Japanese? I thought I could make her my opponent, but it looks like she's no ordinary enemy after all. Possessing innate ability, blessed with a superior mentor, and sparing no effort of her own. That's Yorihime. Speaking of as an older sister, I doubt there's anyone out there who could compare. She really is exemplary. Our own Nico could stand to learn a thing or two from her. Wait, are you serious? What an odd feeling. I can't believe I'm being complimented by the enemy. From our point of view, you're not just another enemy. Of course, that means we know just how strong you are, too. Very well, let's see if simply knowing will be enough for you to counter the techniques of the myriad gods. Do you get different dialogue if you actually kill them or something? Is that what it is? So the dialogue I got was because I ran the spell card out instead of actually taking it down. 
Ame no Uzume no Mikoto just send a pawn onto me and show us the dance that holds back Calamity. She better not run through me. Okay. Koishi can take another hit, I think. I hope she can. I hope she can. Whose babies did you get? Bro, I played that game when I was in high school. You do all the events, you get all the endings, and then there's magically a harem ending. But it was also, like, really boring of a game. Like, it was actually really boring. The stories were pretty bad. The teacher doesn't even have an ending. Like, I don't think she had an actual ending. They try to give, like, a, a backstory to your character, and I, it, it completely disappeared. Like, it didn't matter anymore. It was like, okay, what's even the point? 99, huh? Alright, well... Your, your character had their their sister or mother or something killed by monsters, so he swore revenge, and then, like, there's no characterization that follows him. And also, your best friend character is crushing on a girl who's crushing on a guy, and later that guy definitely dies. And he's still trying to, like, score in this situation. He, he is straight up trying to score in this situation. He's like, oh, man, sucks that... Sucks that he's dead, but you know, I I'm there for you. Like, damn, bro. Could you give her like a day? There was a big leak at Game Freak. Well, they should probably call a plumber. Ha 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 ha. Is it about pizza or is it about other things? Alright, well, that's that turn. Hmm. I see you're keeping up. No, I'm not. I am struggling. Perfect dodge. Dodge all range attacks. God, she's so stupid. God, she's so stupid, man. She's so dumb. Fuck you. Park also suffer black and white too and some general info. Hmm? What do you mean? What do you mean, general info? Are you telling me they're remaking more DS games? Wow! Who saw that coming? Apparently Gen 10 is planned for Switch and Switch 2. Damn, man. That's a big fucking leak. Is any of it true? No. But, we can choose to believe because believing is fun. Alright, Sakuya. Well, first we gotta get through pizza. Game Break has been very quiet this year, though. I mean, quiet in terms of the games they're doing, not quiet in terms of the choices they're, they're making. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. They've been they've been pretty quiet this year in terms of games. We know that pizza's coming out next year, and that's really kind of it. Can you reach Lily with Blade Beam? I feel like you can. Uh, which one is the heal friend? It's that one. Okay. All right. Here's to another round. Bring it on, bitch. Okay, well, she's taking the attack on her. Just hit defend and hope for the best. Pizza. Pokemon Generation and Legends Z. The one that takes place in a seemingly Kalos. So, Gen 10. <laughs> Gen 10. Gen 10 for Switch 2. Uh, re uh, Gold and Silver, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. That's weird. Heart Gold and Soul Silver remakes. Heart Gold, Soul Silver is already a remake. A remake of a remake. Black and White remakes. I mean, they've been playing with Unova for a while. They've been playing with the Unova stuff for a while. With the Blueberry Academy DLC. There's been quite a handful of things like that. Some kind of potential MMO project. Don't think it was remakes, but source code. Oh, the source code for the DS games was leaked? Isn't that kind of really fucking huge? Like, can't people do crazy things with that information? No one can take it. Like, having the source code for those two games. Holy shit, that's actually huge, dude. That's fucking huge. Who knows what that could be? That, that, what, that, that, I don't know what that could mean exactly. Like, legitimately, I'm not sure, but that is definitely something that can... You have a million options, Lily. Which one? 
Pokemon Essentials can make use of it, yeah, but you gotta be careful with that kind of thing because I think they can get in trouble for it pretty easily. Yeah, this is a fucking great thing for fan content. Those are two, like, Black and White 2 and Heart Gold and Soul Silver are pretty highly regarded as, like, the best, uh, the best Pokemon games. And the source code for them, great for DS hacks, for sure. Sticking source code to your project means you're Jover. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not so much that you, you're using it, but you're learning from it, right? Isn't that what it is? Good job, Yomu. You dodged naturally and you did after image. This is just what we're doing. I know this is boring, but like, I'm not fighting her. She is not, I did not pick an option that I can actually fight her in. So we're gonna sit here and do this until eventually she leaves me alone. I don't think she's gonna move though, cause she seems like she likes her targets. Hitting her is hard. I don't have the SP for it. I have to hit her with physical moves or strike. All right. Land. No. What fucking option is it? Well, now Lily's on the ground. Okay. Lily's just gonna hang out on the ground now. My bad, Chief. Didn't mean to. Couldn't figure out what button to get you up. Yep, we're campers. Kanako, the sensation could it be? I was once called a god of war, but now I am a god of mountains. If I invoke the power of the wind, then even I, against you, I can, against that god and Miko working as a pair, I doubt I can afford to be careless. However, there are so many gods out there, every god is bound to have a natural foe. If you call upon Takumi Nakata, you will call upon Takumi Kazuchi. And be careful, as a technique from last time, sky against sky, let's have a pure contest of strength. I summon the Takumi Kazuchi! Oh, Glorp. Break accuracy limit passed, auto excel. Okay, but again, she found her targets, so maybe this will be fine. Yomo just needs to not get hit at what 146% chance to be hit. <laughs> Guess Tensaku will block one of them at least. Okay. Well, she dodged one. But she can't dodge the other one without that. She can probably take the hit though. Oh, never mind. Never mind. She's using the big lightning bolt move in the support slot. Never mind. That hits her. She's dead. Whoo, but you can't hit her. She's too strong. Oh, but you can't hit her. Okay, it's still Blade Beam, so she can't actually realistically do anything to Koishi. I can try to kill her on the spell card, because I can bomb her out of her thing and force her to play on my terms. We'll see what I can do. Might as well, right? Don't we do this too in the actual game. She's fucking cracked. She just, she just takes it. She just... She just sidesteps. Alright. So, we know what this does. Breaks accuracy limit. Gives her pass and auto excel. I actually can see the 100 increased damage portion. So, we got a bomber. And the best character to bomb her with is a character who can't do anything to her anymore. Uh, you can still do damage. Because you. Wow. Sanai now has enough SP to cast Miracle twice. That's pretty good. I think Sakuya is probably the least, the least helpful. Actually, Sakuya might be get more damage than Yumiko now with a uh, full power ultra headbutt Sakuya world if I transform Kane. What's your heat gauge at? You're still fine. Yakun is definitely no on that. Okay, so Tensoku can do a lot of damage, but he is alone. He is alone. Can he hit everything he wants to hit? Can he strike? Yeah, he can. He can still be a big hit. Okay, actually it's Patchy. Patchy can't do anything. 
Hachi, I need you, I need- Okay, Medicine, I need you to run in there and press the bomb button. Kapowie. There we go. There we go. That was- that was Patchy's roll. Now we can beat her up. Now we beat her up. Uh... I need to get you in there, which means I need you to move. Stay in Shinky's protection. Okay, can't hit. Um... Oh, Mima can actually soul one more time. Problem is, she cannot hit if I do. So, I can't actually soul at all. Uh, I can't Courage, but I do have enough for Strike and Valor. Alright, this will be your last hit, Tenchi. Move out of the way to make room for Boo Boo. Alright, let's do it. We will actually fight this one. Is she gonna have 75,000 HP again, though? I do not know. Mm -mm. Did I capture- I don't think I captured the spell cards in the last game at all. I don't remember what she said. Hmm. Oh, man. Hey streamer, you want to play the bonus chapters? They're really cool. Oh yeah, they sound great. So what are they? Um, you remember that time you went to the moon and fought uh, your favorite character and she was a cheater? Yeah, I remember that time. Why? Well, now you get to do it again, but now she's a post-game boss. Oh. That sounds fun. To who? To you, streamer! It sounds fun to you! Oh, I guess it does. That's why I'm doing it. Tenshi's gonna get hit by this. I cannot stop it. The question is whether or not she dies from it. She's getting ping pong, dude. She's putting her rock up. That's a rock hard, dude. It's a hard ass rock. Alright, we in there. Alright, does everybody have enough MP to do what I want them to do? Everybody's MP just kind of recovered for some reason. I don't know why. All right, your turn, champ. Valor, strike, guard. It's the only turn you get. Sense, and sacrifice. Goodbye. Uh. Yeah, nobody needs any MP at all. Like, it's all pretty much accounted for. Alright, get in there, Flandre. Four of a kind. Rip her apart. Rip her apart. Hmm. Oh, my arm is sore. Oh, I feel that. Ooh. Oh, chat, you know when you, when you, when you feel the part of your body that you were working on? And it's like, oh, that's tender, that's sore. And you feel like, you feel like a sense of satisfaction on it, you know? Like, damn, I caused that internal pain. <laughs> it w whenever I laugh, my side hurts. Ow. Ah, oh, I'm dying. My arm is tender right now. You know, I was thinking of adding, uh, push-up, uh, like, push-up planks, but I kind of already do push-up planks anyway when I do my, uh, my runner starts. Because a runner start is just high plank position, but you bring your knee in, and it's kind of like, it simulates the ru a runner position, essentially, where they, you know, they put one leg forward in that position on their, their palms. But your hands are flat on the ground for this, you're not, you're not, like, actually running. So I, 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 I try to twist a little bit as well to work the obliques. I think it hits the obliques when you twist like that. Just a little bit though. Like I bring the knee forward and I kind of tilt it to the side a bit. Because it hits, uh, hits the obliques as well. But I'm not really sure if it does because, well, I don't know much about anything. To be honest with you, I'm pretty stupid. 
Mm. You want to hit obliques? Uh, no, it, it's not that I want to hit them, it's that I'm doing something where I can do an easy shift in the movement to hit them, and I might as well do it. That's what I mean. Like, the motion is just bring your leg forward, but if I bring my leg forward and twist to the side, I'm twisting my at my core, so I'm hitting them a as well. And it's like, it's, it's kind of accomplishing the same thing. It's just a little thing. It's not like I'm hitting them specifically. I, I know how to hit obliques. Like, doing a crunch and then twisting when you're sitting up, that shit's fucking hard. <laughs> that shit's actually hard. At least not the best muscle to hit. No, because they're just part of the core, but they're... It's, it's just... What I'm saying is that what I'm doing... What I'm doing is... Per, like, it's hitting the core, but I can do a twist to make it also hit obliques. It's not... I'm not specializing it. Like, I'm not focusing it. Because my workout routine kind of just hits everything. Oh, Saber Dance will actually be a support, so we will take the strike on that. And, oh, uh, we can definitely get away with a Valor here, so we might as well take advantage of it. Alright, let's beat her ass. Yuka wants to hit her, because Yuka's mad. And then it gets overwritten anyway. It's, it's like when, uh, like, hitting obliques is like, okay, so you do a crunch or a sit-up, right? So obviously when you do a crunch or a setup, you're hitting your core. But when you're at the when you're at the apex of your crunch, you just tilt left and right. And that hits your obliques, right? And then you just do a crunch again. So you're still doing your crunch or your setup, but you're doing a little extra movement to hit another part of your body. But it's not like you're doing something specifically to be like, oh I gotta hit the I gotta hit the spot. I gotta like do this specific I don't even know if there's like specific exercises that only hit them. Seems like it's kinda not happening. I find when I'm done them, my shoulders hurt though. So much pressure holding on the ground. Good thing I have a mat. Yeah, well, mach that's machines in general, right? Machines were designed to hit specific areas, and free weight, free weight kind of hits everything around it. It's pretty unavoidable. But you can use machines to specialize. Free weight is better overall, I think. But machines are usually more comfortable because, well, they're set up in a specific way. And it's all, not automated, but it all kind of makes sense to an extent. But you can't beat the caveman lift big rock. You can't beat caveman lift big rock. Yeah, cables are great too. I don't have any cables though. I don't have any cables. I have to make do with dumbbells. It sucks because a lot of good tricep stuff is cable work. So you got to make do with free weight. We are getting through this pretty well. I don't even know how many bombs I have. But she's half dead. That was all Yumeko needed to do. It wasn't much, because of a support attack, but... She wasn't doing much on her own, anyway. Alright. Oh. Uh... I guess we wanna... Yeah, might as well. Let's get him another breast blast. Hmm. Hit him with another breast blast. Babooey! I think the free weight uh, or the body weight stuff I'm doing will eventually see some type of change. But I honestly don't see any change on me, like at all. I don't really see any change on me. I don't perceive any change. But I don't really think about it too much, because if you start thinking about it from a purely, like, aesthetic standpoint, then, well, that's I think that's why people quit so easily, because they don't see any change, because it didn't happen immediately. But I am still doing it, and it is... Like, I can definitely do more than I could do a week ago, that's for sure. So something is changing, even if I can't see it. Bro is gonna get slashed up, but he'll be fine. He's a big robot.
No danger here. Alright, now I gotta give Shinky an attack. Well, first things first. Cast love on these two, because they're getting the final hit. Actually, I'm giving Rainbow the final hit, because Rainbow deserves it. Alright, let's see. Cast Strike on yourself, Shinky, so you can hit. Uh, you're gonna have to Cast Strike on Alice as well, apparently. Alice can click alert, because I'm pretty sure I need to switch to actually hit her with something. And double triumph. Because I'm so close to her, I don't know if I have access to my... Oh no, I have my... Okay, I can do that. Alright. Let's hit her with the Grand Guggenol. And Phantom... Yeah. Shinky can take one. Alrighty. Last two. Just made sure to cast love first so I can get all the benefits on them for the finishing hit. I like her spaghetti arms at the start. They don't have valor. Well, the best I could give them is a guaranteed crit. But Reimu has soul and Marissa has valor. So... It should be enough. I gotta defeat her with the cheater technique that Ring has. Pew 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 pew! So many. So many stab. Look at her HP bar just not move. My favorite. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty likely I can get a kill with the... Uh... Oh, that looks weird. Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> okay, the map is not liking this attack. Oh my god, what is happening? Bro! <laughs> Bro. It's all kinds of messed up. Taking her to the void dimension. Alright, well, she gets hers now. So that HP threshold is probably at maximum 20k. So I think Rainbow and Marissa can get a kill from that range. Shinky will be fine. She will be fine. She will feel it in the morning, but she is fine. Stay right there. You are still in. You are still in range of that. Alright. Raymu activate. Oh my god. Activate your thing, fantasy nature. Alright, can she hit with this? True or chromatic requires you to be directly next to the opponent. So, I will move Yumiko out of the way. Ryakuden didn't get a swing. Holy shit, I cannot move out of this fucking square. Okay, there we go. So, full power, true tree chromatic. True tree chromatic, and then... No, I want Marissa to cast... The true chromatic. Just make sure I can do it right. Yeah. Fantasy nature. 
Fantasy nature doesn't work from this position. Well, I can do it from here. But can she true? Yeah, she can from here. Which means I need somebody to bomb me out of this fucking square. Get me out of this square. Alright, let's see how this works. Soul. Sense. Courage. Alright. Activate fantasy nature with trichromatic. Raymu deserves this kill. And how could you not see the, the, the final move, you know? It's, it's, it's the coolest move. The only thing that's gonna not work too well for it presentation wise is that Raymu finishes with fantasy nature and then she's gonna finish with fantasy nature. So she's gonna double up on her move. Whereas, with Final Spark, Marissa Friend is just this move with Blazing Stars, so it works better. It's more, it's, it's more cinema that way, you know? It's all about the presentation. Yeah, look at that. 84,000 HP. Did 9,000 more HP. That's one of my favorite supers. I I tell you, man, you get you make a series full of magical like lasers and big shock waves and bullet spam, and the coolest move to me is the one where the, your opponent runs over and punches you in the fucking jaw. Raymu does three flash kicks, and that's that's her coolest move. See, she does this move here with Blazing Star, but then she's gonna fire another one off. True power. Be gone. That didn't even do that much. <laughs> that, that didn't even do that much at all. Juicy. Why, we should have had the advantage with this matchup. Guess you weren't listening when she mentioned more than one god. I make up for Kaneko's weaknesses. Plus, we autumn goddesses are here too. Your failure to summon a god of winter was your downfall. What nonsense are you? Now then, what will you do? Because I can keep going. No, you can't. Shut up. And I still have two of the myriad. I can keep doing this for as long as you wish. That said, I have no intention of letting this drag out. I will finish you off with my next move. And by next, she means... I remember now. We need anti-flash protection. Remy, you should hide as well. Otherwise, don't come crying to me when you get burnt to a crisp. Oh, come again. Gentle mother who rules the heavens, fill the moon with an overwhelming light. Amaterasu Umikami! Oh, we weren't done. Oh. Oh, we weren't done. Oh, I thought we were done. Oh, I thought we were done. That's embarrassing. I thought we were done. Ha <laughs> ha Well, I mean, we're gonna time this out, so... You know. But I, 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 I thought we were done. It's okay. No, no one's positions ever hasn't really changed. And it's still just... Survive. It's fine. See, we'll just do this, and we'll end the turn, and we'll... Hope for the best. I'm not killing this one. Into Delirium. Uh, medicine's about to die. Goodbye, medicine. I thought that the first the first health bar was counting as one of those spell cards. I forgot that she did this move. I was like, oh, I'll kill the last one because it has pass. But now now I don't care about that. I don't care. I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and take it. Three turns, man. All I gotta do. I summon the light. Goodbye, medicine. Goodbye. I didn't mean for this to happen to you. Turn to space dust. 
she's fine. Oh, right. That's fine. It's fine, because we can just take it. Boonshin, barrier. Thank you, Shinky. Barrier. That's told her way too much. Barrier. Ouch. Ouch. P-square, Boonshin, barrier. <coughs> Patchy just died. Blonde's fine. Barrier break. We're fine. Barrier. She's fine. Uh, she's not fine. Pretend she's dead. Whew! Um, Glorp? <laughs> oh, shit. Shinky just died. We are forming the protective wall. So she can't chase the ship. Oh my god, so many people are dying. So many people are dying. Holy shit. How many turns do you get? How many fucking turns do you get, asshole? You only have double action. But she did that three times. Did she not do that three times? She attacked me. She attacked me and then map attacked twice. What the fuck? Huh? I don't understand what let her lets her do that. I, I don't understand what's actually letting her do that. But it's fine because we'll just um, cast bonds. And bring everybody's HP back up. And we'll cast bonds. And confuse. I'm gonna cast confuse so you can't fucking hit me again. Thank you, Satori. Oh, right, yeah. She has zeal. Oh, man. Forgot about that. Alright. Well, here's what we do now. We hope that everybody is healthy enough to dodge. Huh. Okay. I hit confuse. Sense. Just do not get hit by shit. Rumi is fine. She's chill. I'll just put the square around her. Yumiko is not fine, but we got grit. We got grit, boys. We got grit. Uh, Yuka had Bushin because she's a cheater. And Moko's definitely gonna get hit. Oh, she's definitely gonna get hit. The the attack doesn't reach Reimu, but uh, better safe than sorry. All right, I just have to survive this turn because it'll be turn three now, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, uh, fa she's in fantasy nature mode, so she can't actually be hit. Well, never mind, she has a 15% hit chance to get hit. Well, fuck you. So, she acts, then she has zeal, and then she has double act? I don't know if the order matters if those, those do it, but... This is attack one. And Fantasy Nature's guaranteed to dodge it, but I guess it's not guaranteed to dodge the support attack. Fifty-fifty. Oh no, okay. Well, she just dodged it anyway. Alright. Next one. And I hit confuse and some people alerted, so let's see. Miss. Grazed. Miss, P-square, Wuching, Barrier, okay. Hit, critical, dead. Graze. Miss, critical, 1466. Hey, remember how I clicked Grit with, uh, with Show, and she took 2,000 damage after Gritting? How did that happen? Did I not click the right spirit? Does she ignore spirits? Oh, the robot's still alive. Oh, dodge, 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 Ten, oh, oh, what, huh, what? Now the grid activated? That doesn't make any sense. There we go. Thank you for the raid, Christian. All right, game's over. Game's over, I win. 
And lo, the door to the heavenly cave opened and the knight was held in check. That was a terrifying onslaught. Is this Yorihime's true strength? And yet all that said, we still managed to overcome every single attack. Uh, that, mm, uh, debatable. I've experienced it for myself, but seeing it again like this really brings home the incredible strength of your solidarity. The advantages of a third party perspective sometimes, you can, uh, you can see things we otherwise miss. Stuff like our friendship or our bonds. Yes. At any rate, her attacks have stopped. Now's our chance to get away. Trying to escape? I don't think so. Toyohime, can you connect to a location? Yes, well, the Sea of Stars do. Take this, a smoke bomb that'll fog up the whole surface of the moon. Morons like you can just get swarmed by my minions. Ooh wee, an abduction! Can't believe how well executed that was. They're like a perfectly trained unit. Lady Yohime, are you all right? Reinforcements have arrived as per Lady Toyohime's orders. That caught me off guard for just a moment, but now they've probably made it to the Sea of Stars. What? But to do so right before your eyes, Lady Yorihime, naturally I have no intention of allowing them to escape. My pursuit begins now. Inform my sister. Damn, man. Oh, there's the, there's the list. The list of dead people. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Wipe yourself off, man. You're dead. Now, I think, realistically, you guys didn't do anything, so I'm gonna bring you, and I'm gonna, cause you have a good skill, and uh, I have a 2.0, so what up? Where are ya? Quakama Utility. Yeah. There you go. Alright, thank you, Life, for the resub. I got points, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, none of it matters. Items, doesn't matter. Codex, doesn't matter. Hmm. I'm in the wrong place again. Alright. Quakama. Uh. They don't need any help. You two do. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, 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 yes. Iku got Dragonfish Strike. I gotta check it out. Hmm? Increased Dragonfish Drill's power by 400 and is ranged by 1. Cool. Anything useful you'd like to do? Alright. Well, chat, there's one more chapter. Uh, and it's probably going to be the one that I did before where, you know, you have to brace all the units to the other end of the of the thing. And then Reimu activates cheat mode and everybody's like, mm, I don't know, that Reimu chick's kind of scary now. And then Marissa saves the day. Uh, but that'll be another time because I don't want to look at the moon anymore right now. Okay? Alright, there will be one more chapter after this. So, the first chapter was very quick and the second chapter equaled out for about two hours, which is good. So we got one more chapter to do and then we'll be officially done. Yes. Alrighty. Say goodbye to the moon. Say goodbye to the moon. Bye, moon! you well don't miss it for long because it will be back next week whoa the moon will be back next week that'll be fun won't it i bet it won't